Right here in the same central region of the brain are a lot of the regions that contribute to emotional experiences. All put together, these make up what's called the limbic system. The limbic system is all about emotions. Um, and this is an interesting region of the brain to study. This has connections up to the frontal lobe of the brain as well. And so that's how we're able to consciously experience emotions. Um, but where those emotions come from seem to be heavily tied to these structures that are sort of highlighted in green right here on this slide. We'll be talking about the hypothalamus and the thalamus. Those are all regions that are also very central to, to the limbic system. So interestingly, um, I mentioned that there are connections to the frontal lobe, but there are not very many connections to the frontal lobe. And this is why it's so hard to control emotions. It is possible to do, but for most people it takes a lot of practice just because we don't have a lot of neural connections down to these centers of the brain. Let's take a look at what we do know about the limbic system, some of the things that we do know about the limbic system. Um, different sorts of emotions seem to be tied to specific regions within the limbic system. The amygdala, this is a region that is very much tied to um, both fear and aggression sorts of responses. The amygdala is highlighted in red right here in this image. So we have two, one on each side. Um, they're right there, sort of right inside, right um, medial to the to the temporal lobes being able to experience hunger and a feeling of fullness satiety this is very much tied to the hypothalamus the hypothalamus is kind of parked right in the middle we'll be coming to that a little bit later on um, sex drive this seems to involve the whole system to some extent a lot of coordination between the different regions of the limbic system and then goal-oriented behavior so being able to sense reward and um, it, and versus punishment that seems to be very much tied to both the hypothalamus thalamus and coordination with these other centers as well. So the limbic system, very complex system. Um, this, is, this is the name of the system that we use to sort of capture all of these thoughts and ideas about um, emotion control centers in the brain. There is a connection between the limbic system and memory formation. If it is a memory that involves an emotional experience, then the limbic system will be involved in that memory formation as well, particularly the amygdala. The amygdala is tied to a lot of um, the emotional components of memories. And regarding memories, uh, a couple of things about memories. We have uh, different types of memories. We can have what, what we call short-term memories versus long-term memories. Short-term memories involve the prefrontal cortex, so the frontal lobe of the brain. This is very important for being able to problem solve and develop very short-term memory. It uh, enables you to figure things out throughout the day. Um, the hippocampus, this is the region of the brain. It's also part of the limbic system. This is the region of the brain that really has a strong role in converting those memories into the long-term uh, form. And remember that happens a lot at night while you are asleep. So um, with regards to stress, and specifically with regards to PTSD, individuals who have PTSD, they may actually have a hippocampus that has shrunk, it has atrophied. And so consequently, there is an impact on the ability to form memories um, and also the ability to retrieve certain memories. So this ties back in with stress. We'll be looking at stress later on in the semester. Um, so there are some hormones that are associated with stress. One of those hormones is cortisol. And there are receptors for cortisol in the brain. So the brain literally is able to respond physically um, to, to us being stressed. When we're stressed, we produce more stress hormones like cortisol. And then that cortisol can impact what's going on in the brain and even the, the growth or the atrophy of certain structures in the brain. So that's a very interesting tie-in with other systems of the body. Back with regards to memory, the temporal lobe, we've already mentioned this, the temporal lobe is very key for storing visual memories. Um, and then the amygdala is very important in memories regarding fear. So being able to learn things and not repeat the same mistakes, that's an important ability to have, seems to be very much tied to the amygdala.